Today I want to talk about a couple lessons I learned from the descriptive camera. Now, the descriptive camera is a camera I made. It's a lot like a regular camera, except that instead of outputting images, it outputs a text description of what you capture. Let me show you how it works here. Plug in the ethernet, plug in power, point it at what you want to capture, hit the shutter button. Of course, it takes a little bit of time to develop, but after a few minutes, a description comes out of the front of the camera. And in fact, it looks a bit like a Polaroid. So the descriptive camera doesn't use any kind of fancy computer vision algorithms. It doesn't have an enormous database of objects that it's checking against. It actually uses crowdsourcing to create the description. And for the first version of the camera, I used Amazon's Mechanical Turk services, which is where you can pay people online to do things for you that computers aren't very good at doing. In this case, describing an image is a perfect example of what a person can do. So when I first created the camera and connected it up to uh, Amazon's Mechanical Turk, here's an example of the description that I got. Okay, and here's what a normal camera would have seen. So I noticed that the descriptions that were coming out of the camera weren't very interesting. They just lacked a personality. They were a little bit dry. And when I found out that I'd be showing the camera at NYU's ITP Spring Show, I knew I had to inject a little bit of personality into it. I needed to make it a little bit more fun. And I thought it would be great if that personality could be, could, could have a sense of humor and could be a little bit sassy. So. I invited the sassiest, funniest person I know, my partner Andrew, to be the exclusive describer for the course of the whole ITP show. So let me show you some of the descriptions we got. So this gentleman stopped by to check out the descriptive camera and I took his picture. Here's the description that came back. So as you can see, a little connection got made there. This woman stopped by to get her picture taken, and this is what the descriptive camera came back with. So she certainly loved getting that description, I'm sure. So when people saw that the descriptive camera had a bit of personality, they started to perform for it to see how it would react to what they did. This gentleman came by and took a picture of his phone of the descriptive camera and then showed his phone to the camera just to see how the camera would react. Take a look. So I noticed that people were really very much surprised and delighted by the personality that was coming out of the camera when they didn't expect it. And they loved getting a little memento of the experience because I was giving them the slip of paper that came out of the camera for them to keep. And still even months later, people will tell me they still have that slip of paper. It's on their cork board or on the refrigerator or in an album. One person actually did come up to me and pulled out their wallet and showed me the slip of paper that they got. And they just were like so happy by it. You know, they were so happy about it. And that was so exciting. So I realized that when you inject personality into technology, when people don't expect it, and when you give them a memento of that experience, not only, not only are they delighted by it, but they really do remember it. And that feeling is incredibly gratifying. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again on Monday.